Ellie. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Wow, very good response. 700 project managers. That can only mean one thing. Nothing is getting done in the corporate world today. Not a thing. You people are the people that stir the drink. The final nail in the coffin. And the highest priced babysitters in America. Do I have it right? This also means that the subject matter, matter experts, the engineers, and the IT people are all alone back at the office, doesn't it? They're running around going, no project managers here today. Woo! Woo! Let's go into their office and move everything a half an inch to the right. <laughs> See if they notice. So I guess we both know that you people are a little anal retentive. Yes, Pa? Uh-oh. I based my whole act on that. That's why I bought lunch. It's for you all. Well, needless to say, I am not a project manager. A project manager did contact me about being here today, back in March 2009. She said it was on her to-do list. I can't do anything if, until I get off my to-do list, buddy. You better get back to me now. My life does not go forward until the to-do list gets a check. All right. Now, although I'm not a pro uh, project manager, my wife works at GSK. Where are my Galaxians? Yay! I want to hold the applause until after the next joke. <laughs> Every now and then she comes home from work and she has this kind of face. Honey, what's wrong? What happened today? Did you get fired? I went to a lot of meetings with project managers. Well, what can I do for you? Can I bring you a glass of wine, uh, your newspaper, your slippers? Can we just act disorganized for a minute? What do you need to do? And then she says, hold on a second. What are you doing that for? I have to get the project management off of me. <laughs> to prepare for today, I have been doing a lot of investigative research on your people, species. I went online, that thing called Google, and I did some Googling. I don't know if this is a career choice or an affliction. I interviewed a friend. I told her about today, what was going to go, what was going to happen, what I needed to do. She's a project manager. And she looked at me in the eyes, in a serious face. She just started shaking her head back and forth, murmuring, 700 stakeholders, 700 stakeholders. <laughs> steak? Are we going to be eating steak down there? No, Al, you are the steak. <laughs> a lot of stakeholders. I've learned a lot of terms in the last couple, a couple months. I asked her, I said, would this be a funny idea? I'll ask all 700 people to split into groups of threes. <laughs> she looked at me seriously and said, no, they'll find a way to make it happen. I did uh, background research on project management first, going back to my friend who, when I asked her, how do I find out about these people, she said, Google anal retentive. So I did. <laughs> I Googled anal retentive, and these are the responses I got. My favorite is top five signs you're anal retentive. Nowhere on the page, to my chagrin, though, did I see anything about project, ma project management. So then I googled project managers. Once again, nothing about anal retentive. So then I got out my copy of Photoshop and fixed it. <laughs> my favorite slide. Then 
I googled, you can see up there in the response bar, are project managers inner-retentive? And look at the responses I got. How do I deal with a project manager who is inner-retentive? You might be a project manager if. I then googled famous project managers. Famous project managers, and I was wondering, are there any famous project managers? And I got down to name one famous project manager, which made me start to think there's probably not a lot out there. <laughs> right below that, the lazy project manager. <laughs> None of whom are in attendance today, correct? It'll be the guy that goes through the buffet line twice. I then thought it would be interesting if I just Instead of searching the web, I just searched images of famous project managers. And this is what I got. The first one is a scene from Star Wars. That looks like a guy kissing a bottle, a sweet Asian couple, a bridge, a cartoon, but most significantly, the seventh most famous project manager in the world is Angelina Jolie. <laughs> made me realize, will Angelina Jolie be here today? Because if she's here today, I need to change the scope of the project. I then thought, it would be interesting if I used project management to prepare for today. What would that be like? Obviously, my project objective was to distract people from eating lunch. I have failed miserably already. I have to put all of that on the parking list, for the parking lot. Then I found that uh, this interesting, you have a lot of interesting documents that you use in the project management world. One of them is the relationship diagram, which sadly I could not download because your files cannot be downloaded. This can happen if there's an issue installing you're using the office.com ActiveX control if you're using an operating system other than Microsoft Windows. I was not going to be able to have any relationships with anyone. <laughs> then I decided I'd better choose a type of project management to complete this process. So my project leader, Wikipedia, and I got together, and the first one that came up was process-based. Thank God, it's process-based. If there was no process, how would I do it? Furthering the concept, concept of project control is the incorporation of process-based management. This area has been driven by the use of maturity models. No! I want the immaturity models. <laughs> then there's agile project management, which I keep hearing all day, and every time somebody says that, I keep wanting them to go like this. <laughs> Don't ask me what the process is. The Agile project management, what I really like about it is it uses the human interaction management. Thank God we're going to be dealing with humans. Really crucial. Found another process view. What I was most attracted to was the drawing. I looked at the drawing and I said, I like the drawing. Before we get to the drawing, I noticed that in the, in the agile management process, relatively small tasks can see and executed as the situation demands. You people are making up this stuff as you go along. <laughs> There's no plan. There's no plan. That's back to the process people, apparently. Apparently, that's what the agile stuff is about. Once again, the drawing is what really caught my eye. I love the drawing. I zeroed in on the drawing. Plan, collaborate, deliver, much like lunch. But then I thought, you know what? It doesn't make a lot of sense to me. What I think it's saying is, take Legos, arrange it, and you get a Rubik's Cube. <laughs> this is daily fun. Got your feedback in there on whether it's fun or not. Then there was the extreme project management. And boy, is this extreme. When you have a drawing like that, release plan, iteration plan, acceptance test, stand up meetings, ah, I was really lost. But what I really noticed was the PERT based models. And that appealed to me. PERT, PERT appealed, to me, appealed to me. Because to me, 
It was making a lot more sense when I put Bob in there. <laughs> it made perfect sense. If you got Scrum, you need to use the perk button. <laughs> walking around here today like this. Look what you got to work with. Perk and scrum. Who would I mean nobody gets to use terms like that. How's your perk? It's pretty scrummy today. <laughs> there was another choice, but the planning process group activities appealed to me. You had all this stuff going on. The management plans, the communications, all the stuff. Which reminded me of a football player. I think what you people are really doing is this. The PM offense is sending blockers over the management plans and attacking the state of the defense. The people are having way too much fun. The whole goal then is while their stakeholder defense is distracted, over there the project management plan can run for a touchdown. I'm